Facebook by far was the best Hello and welcome back to Holistic Developer Channel. This channel is where I share with you my experiences, what I learn and stuff that I think is relevant for you because I would love to have that information when I was starting up or when I want to research something. And in this video, I want to share with you the reasons why I didn't go with Facebook as getting a job at Facebook. So it's kind of a long story, but probably for about a year and a half now, I had recruiters from Facebook reaching out to me asking about like the opportunity to interview with them. And now that I think about it, it's actually when they started to reach out to me, it was 2019, it probably was August. And everybody was super nice. Like I probably spoke with probably seven or eight different recruiters from there. So initially I'll start with somebody and it's like, yeah, are you interested in an opportunity with Facebook? Um, and I would say, yes but um so i would say okay i will prepare i will i just wanted honestly it originally like in 2019 i was thinking about my youtube channel and i wanted to see what is the experience and share it with you and i agreed i was like okay i will do it and during that time at work my previous job it was super busy and it all turned out turned out that i didn't had time to prepare to to pass an interview so i would say like I will get back to the recruiter and say, I need more time. Um, and I will never prioritize getting an interview with Facebook for whatever reason. I did prioritize my interview with Google, with Amazon, with Microsoft and so on. So over the time, I realized that I'm not that excited and interested in working at Facebook. The, the reason why I was considering it, it was because I wanted to make a video for you. February 2020, another recruiter reached out to me uh, asking me if I'm interested in exploring machine learning with Facebook. And machine learning was something that I actually was interested in and I wanted to do. That was something that I could not do at my work. And I said, yes, I will explore it. Uh, then things changed. I decided to quit my job and uh, go and learn web development. So I started to attend a bootcamp and for six, eight months, that was my primary focus. After that, during those times, like I got reached out by other recruiters from Facebook exactly for the same reason, do want to try it out. And I realized that it was not exciting for me to work at Facebook. The appeal probably was the fact that it's a fan company, that you get recognized and so on, but that was not enough for me to actually pursue that. Um, another appealing part of it is that the compensation, like I will be transparent, like why would I want a higher compensation uh, with, the, with the goal that I can be financially free sooner, right? That was one of the criteria. But when I was thinking about how will I feel about the work I'm doing, the value that I'm bringing and so on, I was not motivated at all. Until to the point that I started to use uh, Facebook again, meaning that I'll use Facebook years ago and I stopped using it probably three or four years ago. I stopped posting, I stopped using it at all. And I started recently to use it uh, for its marketplace uh, use because we have a toddler and she grows really fast. She has a lot of toys and stuff that we don't have use of them anymore. So we just put them on the marketplace and people who are interested in that, they can pick it up. So I like that. So when I got reached out by a recruiter again, from Facebook asking if I'm interested to interview with them. That time I said, yes, I was without a job. Um, I learned something that is actually being used at Facebook and I wanted to try it, right? So I said, yes, I started to prepare and that was actually during my um, job seeking marathon when I applied to a hundred software engineering jobs. And in this case, I didn't apply directly to Facebook. It was actually a recruiter reaching out to me. I I took them on the offer and I passed the interview. And what I'm trying to say, even though I was not excited about the fact of working at Facebook, I have to give them credit for what they do when it comes to recruiting. Like, I'm kidding you not, like from applying to a hundred software engineering jobs within a month, Facebook by far 
was the best recruiting system that they had. Let me explain. So when I said, yes, I want to interview and we set a date, I got access to Facebook career platform um, where it allows you as an individual who is going to interview with Facebook to prepare for the interviews. And they give you the topics and a few examples that they will ask you uh, potentially the question in the interview will be. You have like a couple of array problems that you can solve. You can have uh, strings and other different topics that you need to prepare. So having those examples in one place for Facebook, you kind of know, like, if I can do this, I'm ready to do the interview. And they give you this, I don't know, 20 to 30 different, I don't remember the number now, different uh, problems that you can solve. They are not timed, you can do them at your leisure and so on. But when you're ready, there are also an option of doing a timed interview. And it's amazing. It's just like they really, really thought out everything for people who want to interview with Facebook, that they have everything they need to prepare and make sure that they're ready for that interview. They have interviews on that platform as well, mock-up interviews that what can you expect from an interview at Facebook and other different resources, which is amazing. So I use those resources and other resources because I was preparing for other interviews as well. I did Algo Expert, I did uh, Educative IO, I did Gigs for Gigs and like many other resources to prepare for my interviews. And finally, I got the interview we got to, it was an hour interview, it was a technical coding interview. I got a, a binary tree question, which I'm not a fan of binary trees, but I was able to solve and the interviewer was super nice. He explained what he's expecting from the interview, what he's looking for. And 45 minutes passed and the interview was over and the interview was using blue jeans i believe is the application that you use um, to do the video conferencing and so on so um honestly i i could not tell you how well it went i didn't know if i passed or not but it was decent i would say that and probably within a week or so i don't remember the time frame i'll probably drop it somewhere in the video the exact number uh, before I heard that actually passed the interview and I was surprised and I was happy and like and that is one of the reasons probably why I passed because they had everything on the platform that will help you understand what can you expect what kind of complexity can you expect from these interviews another thing that I liked, uh, liked from the platform is that from within the platform you can reach out your recruiter you can fill out all the paperwork that you need to fill out you see the date when your interview is set like who will be your interviewer, you can reschedule it from that platform. It's just amazing. And another thing is that really liked is that during interviews, the interviewer n practically never will share with you their interview, uh, their email, because you, you should not reach out to them directly. But here, if you want to say thank you, you still don't know their email, but you have a way to send a thank you note to your interviewer. And I did that. So I thank my interviewer and um, regardless of the result, I was happy. Then um, I was told that I passed and <laughs> now I have to prepare for the on-site. And my recruiter changed because I was assigned to a different department or something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, but still within that platform, I needed to fill out other documentation. Uh, there were other prepare preparation material. And that's when I got blown out <laughs> by, by the fact what happened like from my entire career i spoke with hundreds of different recruiters and the recruiter that i had to work now at facebook was the best ever recruiter i was just um, i was amazed she was not just like okay i'll schedule you and that's it she asked me for an hour for us to get to talk and literally she was so good that during that hour she gave me really clear feedback of what went well with my previous interview what were the areas that i can improve what were the signals that i was evaluated for which ones did i met which ones i didn't met like everything was super super clear then she explained what is 
the on-site interview with Facebook, like what is the loop? You have five interviews, one is behavioral, two technical um, coding and two design, one will be product design, one will be system design. What is the level that you're expecting? What are the signals they are looking for? Like how should you perform in an interview? And so on. like, literally it was like a book that had all the answers that I needed to know going into a Facebook interview and it was just amazing. Honestly, we spent an hour on the phone and I never ever had anything like that and I was only because of that I wanted to continue with the interview process. Um, however, <laughs> I, I decided not to pursue that. But before I go into that, I need to give you these details that I kind of forgot to mention is that um, Facebook also offers you the opportunity to witness um, a, a mock-up interview, a system design mock-up interview. So there's, um, I think it's on regular basis on Wednesday or something like that. After work, there is an hour meeting that you can sign up, register for, and see two software engineers from Facebook doing a system design mock-up interview and I, I enrolled for that and I, I wanted to see how it works so I joined it was a one-hour interview and it was a question what they were looking at they were designing um, what they were designing the the short URL the the tiny URL uh, system design and like question interactions what tools do they use they use Google draw for um, drawing for the system design like how like how they format everything so all of this it's really great to know how to prepare how to what to do and what to pay attention how to format your information on the page and so on so i was really happy that i had witnessed that meeting that i was part of that mock-up and so on and another thing that i give you is an opportunity to talk with a with an engineer, with a software engineer and ask any questions you want and I did that. I I had, uh, I scheduled a talk with one of the software engineers, I got all my answers, uh, everything went well um, and probably after a week I emailed the recruiter saying I decided not to go with the on-site interview, um, I'm not interested to pursue the uh, the, <laughs> the job with Facebook and honestly I felt bad because I kept it that long um, because primarily I had so much respect for that recruiter. She is amazing and I, I, I was pursuing that and another reason was that because I wanted to create a video. How is it? What is it like to interview with Facebook? Like how I did it with my Microsoft video and Google video as well because um, like I did the Google interview after I already had a job and I just wanted to see how the interview will be. And this was something that I also was considering to do. I already had a job, uh, but I wanted to continue with the, <laughs> the idea of doing the interview only for the respect for the recruiter and for having something to share with you. But I still have things to share with you, like from all everybody that I interviewed with, by far, Facebook has the best <laughs> resources for people who want to interview for them. So if you are a software engineer, a coder, programmer who wants to interview at Facebook or who wants to work at Facebook, um, I tell you that their resources that they provide is the best. You don't need anything. You don't need lead code. You don't need algo expert, anything like that. They already have everything you need to to prepare and they kind of, you can gauge what level they're looking for and again something that i realized and maybe that might not apply to all the cases but the ex exercises they give you to practice the problem the task that they give you to exercise on their platform they are not being evaluated for your interview it's completely for you it doesn't have anything to do uh, with uh, the interview itself however i realized that the, the problems were a much more challenging than the actual question I got during the interview. So I don't know if that's true in all cases, but it was true in my case. So hopefully this information provides some clarity <laughs> to what is like to interview with Facebook or what is like to prepare for a Facebook interview. And yeah, 
hopefully you found some clarity in the process of interviewing with Facebook and by far I, I my personally I tell you that um, the resources that Facebook provides for interviewing with them is the best for the FANG companies out there. Yeah, that putting out there is like, do you think this is useful? Like, I mean, having this resource, will it be helpful for you to get that job that you're looking for in programming and software engineering? Will it be useful to, for everybody to provide that? Just curious. In my opinion, yeah, it's yes, but I would like to hear your opinion. <laughs> okay, have a good time. If you're interviewing, I'm wishing you the best in preparation and the best interviews, the easiest ones. Um, and the easiest sometimes are not necessarily the easy challenge that you have to do. It's uh, the ability to communicate with the interviewer because that's really important. Okay, I see you in the next time and make sure to like, subscribe and share if you want to support the channel, you want to support this video and see you next time.